Welcome to Motorhomes of Texas. My name's Mike Martinkus, and I want to take you on a tour of this beautiful 2005 Newell 45-foot four-slide bus. Naturally, the first thing you're going to notice in here is just, just how incredibly beautiful this bus is. The uh, time, the attention to detail, the, the amount of uh, labor that, that's involved. Both of the sofas in the living room here are covered in leather. Uh, the sofa on the driver's side of the bus is a pull-out sofa, just like what you'd find in a home. And the one on the curb side is uh, a jackknife sofa. They both make into beds. If you have guests uh, that stay with you, then you can sleep them comfortably in this unit. Take note of the level or blinds. They're uh, electric, they're push button. Uh, they can stop uh, at any place either up or down or any place in between. You see how that works. The, uh, it's like a Venetian blind except it's cloth. Cast your eyes now on the ceiling treatment in this bus. And you see this, it looks like mirror on the ceiling. A lot of detail work in that. The, uh, the padded fabric that surrounds it, the, the vinyl. Notice all the radius corners throughout this bus, starting up in the salon, going back through the galley and into this bedroom. We have a lot of lights in, in the bus. Uh, they're individually controlled from the, you see these touch pads that are mounted so you can control lighting from several different places. There's an incredible amount of storage built into the galley in, in this bus. We have a nice little cabinet for a wine rack, holds uh, various bottles of liquor or wine to go along with this beautiful crystal cabinet over the top of the entry door. You notice the, the deep undermount Corian sink on the curb side of the coach. Away from the stove gives you a lot of counter space for preparing the meals. The recessed stove, rather than sitting up on top of the countertop, it's recessed below the countertop. So if you're not using the stove, you can close the Corian cover and have additional counter space for preparing a meal. See how this drawer dishwasher pulls out. The microwave oven, if you'll notice, is not mounted too high like, like you see in a lot of RVs. You can actually see the, what's in there before you pick it up and take it out and not spill it all over yourself. You can see the large refrigerator behind the cherry door at the top and then below, you see there are two separate freezer compartments. See how this pocket door at the back of the kitchen. It's air operated, works at the push of a button. Uh, there is an emergency override if something happened to the air. Back here in the stateroom, this is in fact a joy bed. And as we raise the bed, you see there's an additional TV now. Stepping from the bedroom into the bathroom, great lighting. You see the large medicine cabinet, bowl mounted vanity, the vitreous china commode, Notice the stacker washer dryer in the bathroom. The huge shower stall with a seat. Uh, the ladies just love that. Take note of the beautiful vessel sink mounted on top of this granite countertop. Just absolutely beautiful. Here in the front of the bus, we've got a 42 inch LG flat screen TV, high def. Of course, we've got a satellite system on the roof. We have a Marantz surround sound stereo system just creates an incredible theater sound in this bus. Everything that's critical to driving the bus, of course, is, is surrounding the driver in, in the driver's cockpit. Uh, he doesn't need to get up and go anywhere to do anything to maintain roadworthiness in the bus. Above the driver, we have gauges that indicate condition of the generator. Notice the smart wheel allows the driver to control lighting, cruise control, windshield wipers. He's sitting on an ISRI air ride seat, something you find in the trucking industry for long haul drivers. Really makes for a comfortable ride. Passenger front seat, as you can see, is a wide leather recliner. Passenger or co-pilot also has air conditioning and heating controls. Notice that this unit has around 61,000 miles on it, which in Newell bus parlance or big bus parlance 
is like talking about a car that's got 2,000 miles on it. It just it doesn't amount to anything. This bus is built to go millions of miles. On our right is a it's a 14 foot long slide room, two and a half feet deep, and on our left is an 11 foot slide room that's about two feet deep. Newell has engineered this slide room to where the floor actually drops and goes underneath the main floor when the room is retracting. It really creates a, a living space that's just like what you would find in a, in a really high-end home. There's no indication in the floor that there is a slide room there. There are no mechanisms underneath the slide rooms. When the slide rooms are out, the bus is just as beautiful as when the slides are in. Notice now the awnings incorporated into the roof line of the bus. Integrated into the roof line as they are, they blend in, they don't stick out uh, beyond the side of the bus. The awnings will retract automatically, roughly 18 miles an hour wind speed, uh, the awnings will automatically retract. So you can see here in the front of the bus, the first thing we're gonna show you is the power tech generator is mounted on a pneumatic slide. This is a 20 kW turbocharged diesel generator mounted on hydraulic pads for vibration dampening and it powers everything in this bus at one time and just about another bus to boot. There's not enough equipment inside to exceed the power that this generator will put out. We find the first pass-through bay with a joy bed in the bottom it slides out uh, either direction. And then the next bay back we have a outside entertainment center which incorporates this pull-out 37-inch Vizio flat-screen HD TV, a stereo system with some portable speakers. The next bay back you see is a, another pass-through bay and then the air-operated entry door. And the next bay back from that we have the AquaHot system. Now I could spend a lot of time here talking to you about this AquaHot system. Custom built and modified. It's got some unique features that you uh, need to get your salesman to explain to you a little bit farther. There's just not enough time in this video to go into all the, the benefits and features of this AquaHot system. Next bay back, you see we have six 8D gel cell batteries. Notice back here now, wheels on the tag axle turned out like the front wheels. That's a steerable tag. As the driver turns the front wheels in one direction, this tag axle actually turns in the opposite direction. And what that does for you is it decreases the turning radius of this 45 foot coach. Unbelievable short turning radius. And back here behind the pentagram engine access door, we find the big engine that pushes this rig down the road. Detroit built this, it's an inline six cylinder, four cycle engine, produces 500 horsepower. It's coupled to an Allison HD 4060R six-speed transmission with an integral retarder. And just around the corner from the engine, we find the power cord reel, 50 amp power cord on a Glendening reel. It's automatic extend and retract. Just forward of the drive axle on the driver's side of the bus, we find the fuel tank. Holds 310 gallons of diesel fuel. Now we're up into the waste compartment, air-operated sewer dump valve for the freshwater tank. It's 198 gallon capacity. The wastewater is 124 gallons. This is one of the nicest features about the bus. It's a headhunter marine style fresh water pump. It runs on 110 via the inverter and produces enough water pressure that everybody inside can turn on faucets and not scald or freeze the person in the shower. You see the small pump just above it, that's an auxiliary 12 volt pump. If, if something happened to this big pump, that's the backup for it. The next bay up, you see the first thing in the bay is the generator exhaust pipe going up through the bay, through the side of the coach, and it exits out the roof. The aqua hot exhaust also goes through the roof. You see in here also the fuses for the multiplex system. It's a way of wiring the bus that uses a lot less wire and is a lot more trouble free and a lot easier to troubleshoot uh, should a problem arise. And in the very front bay underneath the driver is two auxiliary air compressors that run all the air features on the bus and that brings us to the end of our tour. We want to thank you for taking this short tour with us of this incomparable 2005 Newell 45 foot four slide bus. We have a friendly knowledgeable sales staff to help you in your motorhome needs. We specialize here at Motorhomes of Texas in four travel, Newell, 
country coach if you have a unit you'd like to consign. Please contact us either on our website or at 800-651-1112. Come by and you'll see a really beautiful bus.